So, you're considering buying a new laptop. You don't know where to start. Do you go all out and buy a Microsoft Surface Book or Apple MacBook for those oh-so-premium experiences? Or do you go in the exact opposite direction and go buy a Walmart laptop for, say, around $200 and you get pissed every single time you open the lid and it creaks? Well, if you're the average person, you probably want something in between. Something that feels nice to touch and hold, that has pretty decent build quality, while at the same time not breaking the bank. That sweet, sweet middle ground can be pretty difficult to find. Well, I'm here to make your life a little easier. Let's get started. First, we have to decide the criteria we're looking for. I decided to stick to resources a normal person would use. Places like Best Buy, New Egg, Fry's Electronics, and Micro Center. Here's the things I considered when we were trying to find this Goldilocks price range sweet spot. You'll want a nice keyboard, something that feels nice to type on. The body of the machine doesn't have to be the nicest thing in the world, but it just doesn't have to be that plasticky, disappointing mess. The next is screen real estate. 13 inches is the most popular, so we'll probably use that for our calculation. However, if you do want a 15 inch laptop, those actually tend to go a little cheaper than their 13 inch brothers. And then there's weight. As long as it doesn't weigh as much as a brick or fits in one hand just fine, then you're probably good. And then you need good battery life. You may not get the best battery life, but then again, these are mid-range products, so don't expect it. And lastly, performance. Performance has to be up to snuff. It has to be able to do your emails, web surfing, YouTube video watching, music listening, whatever without too many hiccups. Initially I thought it'd be pretty difficult to find good value machines like this, but I was wrong. There is a value spot. Assuming that you pay full retail price for a product, that means no discounts of any kind, the sweet spot is roughly $500 to $700. So how did we come to this conclusion? Well, for products that cost under $500, you typically play this game of tug of war where you trade one feature for another never having both. For example, you may end up with a decently fast machine, but a crappy display. You may end up with super fast storage, but a slow processor. There's just a bunch of trading around. At the $500 price mark is when everything, all those good features start to become standard. Full HD displays for a cleaner, crisper image, eight gigabytes of RAM so you can have a couple of programs open before your laptops start to stutter. SSD storage that's faster than your typical hard drive, decent battery life, and okay build quality. Sure, your machines won't feel like a Surface or a MacBook, but it'll still feel good enough. And even casual gamers will see a benefit. Within this price range is when you start to see the NVIDIA MX150 dedicated graphics chip. It lets you play games, although at lower settings. And if you're not into games, at this price point is when machines start becoming decent two-in-one machines. So yeah, there is a sweet spot for the average person to benefit the most. And that's $500 to $700. You pay any more, you're paying for more premium construction, maybe better speakers, and all that extra fluff. If you want nothing more than just a good, okay, all right machine, this is the price range you should be looking for. But at the end of the day, I can't tell you what's the best machine for you. That's up to you to decide. I don't know your own personal preferences. They're probably drastically different than mine. Make the right choice for you. I can only hope that I at least helped you in your search to finding the perfect laptop. Anyway guys, what do you think? What's the perfect price to pay for a laptop, other than free that is. Leave that down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.